Okay, so let's uh, maybe just make sure that the rim is the right width here. So let's go back into the back view. We'll turn our shading back off to F3. And you can see it's a little bit thinner than we need. Uh, we actually need this outside edge to be over here. Okay, so we'll just quickly uh, adjust this. Let's go back into the edit poly, uh, back into vertex, and just grab all those back verts. And just uh, pull it over a little bit until it's the, the right size. Okay, like that. Everything seems to be lining up, so we'll get back out of that. Turn our turbo smooth back on, and we'll be done with the rim here. Okay, I'm not going to actually model in any uh, brake calibers. If you want to do that, you could uh, just throw something on here, but I think for this round, I'm just going to skip that part. Okay, and we'll move on to the actual tire tread. All right, so let's maybe um, just hide everything here. So I'm just going to hide unselect it so we get rid of everything in the viewports. And we'll go into maybe our top view here. I'm just going to turn my grids on for a second. All right, let's draw out a plane here. All right, so I'm just going to draw a plane into the viewport doesn't matter uh, what the size is right now and we'll go back into the material editor here uh, let's maybe grab a new slot and we'll go down into the diffuse channel here and choose bitmap okay and we're going to use uh, an image here to kind of model the tire tread against okay and you can find this image at the top of the tutorial page uh, in the tutorial details section and download this particular one okay it just looks like this is pretty simple and I've just uh, drawn some uh, edges over top of it Right, and the size of this one is 640 by 40, so let's just open that up first. We'll assign it to the plane, show it to the viewport, and we'll just adjust the size of our plane here. Okay, so we want to do 640 by 480. Okay, and that's actually the wrong way. Let's uh, do 480 by 640. Okay, there we go. And you could probably take the self elimination up here too, maybe 100%. Okay. And we'll just start modeling over top of this. Uh, let's go into the back view first. I'm just going to zoom out a bit here so we can see where the plane is. And I'm just going to slightly move this down uh, so we can model the tread on top, in the top view here. Okay, so back in the top view. Turn off our grids there. Let's also get rid of these segments on the plane. We don't really need those. And we'll just start this with maybe uh, another plane here and start shaping this out. So let's go into the control panel, or into the create panel, sorry. Grab another plane here. And we'll just start maybe right in the center and just draw this over to the side. Okay, just like that. All right, let's maybe throw our blue shader on it again. And we'll just start with a one by one plane here. So let's convert to Edible Poly. So uh, turn on our see through here so we can see the edges. And we'll just start adding some extra segments here and kind of shaping this out. All right, so. Let's go back to edge, grab the top and bottom edges here. We'll just do a connect with one segment. I'm just going to move that over on the X and line it up with this edge uh, right here. Okay, just like that. Grab the top and bottom edge again, and we'll do another connect here with one segment. And we'll just move that over and line it up with the next edge. And with that in place, we can actually grab the two outside verts here, and we'll just give this a bit of an angle to match the blueprint. Okay, so I'll just take this up and match it up like that. And the next thing we'll do is start working uh, on these sections here. So we're going to add some uh, horizontal edges. All right, so let's grab the outside edge here, do a ring, and another connect. And let's maybe slide this guy down. All right, we'll take him all the way down at the bottom there and just line it up with this edge here. Okay. About 81 or so should be good. And we'll do the exact same thing again. So grab these vertical edges, another connect, and we'll just move that up to the next one right here. And it's a little bit hard to see uh, with the red edges. I should have made them a uh, different color. Okay, so right about there. And one more time, let's just ring an edge here and do another connect. Okay, we'll just move this up to the next one. Okay, just like that. And we also need to add a couple edges here so we have kind of an angle uh, between these. All right, so let's grab these one more time. Another connect. Okay, I'm just gonna slide that over. And we'll line it up maybe right at the top corner here. Okay, so about 27 or so. Hit OK to that. And then we'll go into Vertex, zoom in a bit here. I'm just going to grab these verts, these three. We'll put our edge constraint on. All right, we'll just move this over on the X to give us the angle that we need. Okay, so we're going to bring it over like that. And then we'll grab the two bottom ones here. And that one looks like it's in the right position here. So let's just move this one back a little bit. All right, so we'll grab that one, slightly push it back. Okay, I think that should work fine. 
So one more edge here, and that's for this uh, section right here. So let's go back to edge, grab these edges here. Okay, let's do another connect on that. Let's slide it over a bit. Right about there. Okay, and we'll just adjust some verts. So let's go back over to uh, vertex and make sure you still have your edge constraint on. And we're just going to grab these two verts here. Okay, and we'll just uh, move these a little bit over. Maybe something like that. And then we'll just grab the top one and uh, kind of even out the angle here. Okay, so these are pretty much in a straight line. And the same thing here at the bottom. Grab those two and we'll just move it over to the side a little bit here. Okay, maybe something like that. And we'll leave this one maybe coming straight down. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Uh, now that we have the edges laid out, we can uh, start extruding some of the polygons up. Okay, so let's check this out in perspective. Okay, everything looks correct. Let's go back to polygon here and we'll just grab some of these polygons. So back in the top view, just gonna turn on the see-through. And we'll just select maybe these ones here, as well as uh, these three, and these ones in the center here. And we'll also get this one down here. All right, so pretty much selection like that. Go back to perspective. And we'll just extrude these up. All right, so we'll probably extrude and bring that up. Uh, might not need to be that high. Let's take it down a little bit. We'll do maybe about uh, seven. Okay, let's maybe do eight and okay. And we'll go back to the top view here and we'll deselect a few of these polygons. Okay, so I'm gonna deselect these three here. Okay, and we'll leave these ones selected as well as those center ones. Okay, so we have a selection like this. And we'll extrude it up one more time. Okay, we'll take this one down a little bit more. Let's do maybe about 5.5 uh, .5 on that one, and okay. Okay, and we can start uh, extreme some other edges out here. So let's maybe just go back to edge, and we'll grab the edges along the front uh, of the tread here. Okay, just like that. And we'll just extrude these in the top view a little bit, holding shift. So I'm going to pull that out. Let's undo that. Let's make sure we turn off our edge constraint first. And then we'll shift drag it down on the Y. Okay, I just want a little bit of a space here so um, we can kind of attach these together later on. All right, so I'm going to pull it out like that. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Grab those bottom edges. Okay, and we'll extrude that up. Maybe something like that. And that'll give us a space uh, so we have a gap between each section of this tread. And for the middle section here, uh, this piece here, we want to make sure that this is a continuous uh, strip all the way around the tire. So we're going to need to delete out some polygons here. Let's grab these two plus this bottom one. The same three on this side and we'll actually delete these out. Okay, and then we'll go back into edge and grab the edges around the opening here. Okay, and we'll extrude those up in the top view. Uh, to match up with the uh, extruded edge there on the side. Okay, so hold shift and just extrude those out. Right like that. And then we'll need to make a weld here in the corner. So let's go to vertex and grab the two verts right here and just hit weld. Okay, and we'll do the exact same thing on the other end. Grab the five edges around the hole and extrude it down in the top view. Okay, just bring it out like that. And then weld up the corner here. Okay, so grab those two verts and hit weld. Okay, and we pretty much um, might not need to have that extra loop in there. Uh, let's just maybe leave it uh, just for the sake. It won't really affect anything. Okay, so let's make some more adjustments here. I'm gonna go over onto the outside of the tire here. Go back to edge. And we're gonna grab all the edges along the bottom. Okay, front to back. And we'll go maybe into the back view here. Whoops. Okay, let's switch this to the front view.
Okay, and for some reason I deselected my edge selection, so I'm just going to reselect those. And we're just going to extrude this out a little bit on the side here. Okay, so I'm going to hold down shift and I'm just going to drag it out. Okay, maybe like that. And we'll shift drag it one more time and we'll make this a little bit more straight. Okay, just like that. And now we'll just make a, a few more adjustments to the shape here. Okay, so let's go to vertex and grab the four verts right here in the center section. Okay, and we're going to move this up on the uh, Z, okay, to get a little bit of an angle on these faces here. Let's, let's move it up maybe like that. And that looks okay. Let's also go over onto the side here and we're going to kind of taper these uh, ends over so it kind of rolls out on the top here. All right, so let's uh, go back into the back view, or the front view, sorry. And let's grab these verts here. All right, I'm just going to move these over on the X. Okay, so we have it kind of rolling over the side here. Let's grab the top ones. Move this over a little bit more. Okay, and you can see they kind of went out of alignment there. So let's go into the top view. Let's go to wireframe here. And let's actually grab these ones as well. Okay, so we have those eight vert verts that are selected. And on top here, we're just going to pull this back so it kind of straightens out. All right, so let's move this back on the Y, just like that. And then we'll deselect these four verts here. So we have the top one selected, and we'll just straighten it out the rest of the way. Okay, just like that. And we'll just continue to uh, shape this out. Let's maybe add a few extra segments uh, through this section here. So let's grab an edge and do a ring. Okay, and we'll do a connect on that. Let's take off the slide and we'll do maybe uh, three segments, no pinch, no slide, and okay. All right, and then we'll go back into the front view maybe. And we're gonna see if we can just uh, kind of shape this a little bit better. Okay, I wanna kind of uh, taper it a little bit more here on the side so it's kind of sloping down. Uh, so let's grab these verts here on the end, as well as the next set. Okay, I'm just going to move those down a bit on the Y. Okay, and then we'll deselect these ones here and move it down a little bit more. Okay, we'll see how that looks. Okay, that might be uh, fine. So I think that's pretty much the shape we're looking for. We could maybe uh, slope this inner piece a little bit as well. Uh, let's maybe do that in the uh, front view. Okay, so let's grab this vert as well as these ones here. And we're gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna slightly move these down, okay, to get a similar angle on them as we have up there. And then we'll grab the end ones. And we'll just pull that down a little bit more so it's uh, a little bit more sunken into the actual tire. Okay, and then we'll just grab these ones here and just kind of uh, space these out a little bit more even. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay, we could actually probably bring it down a little bit more. Let's just grab these two and stretch it out a little bit longer. And maybe these bottom ones a little bit further. Okay, I think that should be fine. Uh, so now we'll just maybe start chamfering down some edges. All right, let's actually get rid of these polygons on the inside too. We want this to be uh, double wide, so we're gonna need to delete these out. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab all these polys in the middle here. And we'll just delete those for now. Okay, so let's start chamfering some edges here. All right, so let's go to edge and let's maybe grab these ones here first. Okay, I'm just going to turn on our back facing and we'll just grab maybe these edges along the front. And let's do these ones as well. So I'll grab that end as well as the other end. And let's maybe just work up and along the top here. So let's grab this one and we'll just work down this edge. Okay, just bring it all the way down to this point here. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Grab this one and just work our way down to the front. Okay, and let's maybe just give these a chamfer. Okay, 
I'll take it down a little bit more. Let's do maybe about 0.7. Okay, don't worry about the, the triangle here and shit. Uh, we'll fix those up afterwards. Okay, so let's do 0.7. We'll hit OK to that. And let's also check for this top edge here. So let's grab this one, do a loop. And we'll check for that the same amount. Let's maybe tighten it up slightly. Maybe about 0.5 and OK. And we'll do the same thing here at this inner edge. So let's grab those three and chamfer. And we'll take it down a little bit more. Actually, let's just maybe leave it about the same. We'll do about 0.5 and OK. And you can see on the corner there we have uh, a bit of a problem here. Okay, so we're just going to need to clean this up quick. And the easiest way to do that is just to go to target weld and weld these points down to these ones. Okay, and then it's a good idea just to grab the verts around that section and make sure you only have four. All right, so you know you didn't miss any welds. We'll do the exact same process over here on the other end. Just weld these up quick. Okay, that one to that one and that one to that one. And we'll just keep working over this until we have all the edges chamfered. All right, let's also get these corner ones at the back here. So let's grab this one and this one, as well as this one and this one. And we'll chamfer those down. And let's do that about 0.5 as well. And OK. And at the bottom here, we'll just uh, quickly weld this up. OK, so this one in and that one to that one. OK, we also want to do the inner edges here. So let's go back to edge and just grab the edges along the top here. All right, so we'll just select these around the opening. Okay, all the way down to this point, and the same thing on this side. Okay, just like that. All right, we'll chop those down. And let's maybe do this one a little bit bigger. We'll do maybe about 0.6 or so. Okay, and the same thing here. Let's grab the bottom edges. Let's grab one there, and one on the other side, we'll do a loop. Let's actually not do it. Let's undo that. We'll just manually select it. We don't want the edge selection to go all the way around. Okay, so we'll just grab all these bottom edges here. Okay, right back to this point here. And give them a chamfer. And we'll tighten that up slightly here. Let's do maybe about 0.4 and okay. And then we're going to need to clean up these corners here. So back to vertex, back to target weld. And we'll weld uh, this one down. And let's weld maybe this one over. Okay, same thing on this side. This guy here down to the bottom one, and this one over to this one. Okay, and same thing at the back two edges here. Let's grab these two, and the same two on this side. Let's actually get these bottom ones as well. Okay, so those six edges there, give them a chamfer. And OK, and just weld up those top verts to clean it up. All right, so this one up to this one, this one up to this one. OK, we also need to do the front edge. So let's grab this one, the middle one, and the two over here. And give them a chamfer. We'll take this one up a little bit more. Let's do maybe about 0.55 or so. And we'll just clean up the corners here. Okay, so back to target weld. Let's weld this one here. Let's actually weld, weld this one here up to this one. And this one over to that one. Let's maybe do it this way. Okay, I'm just gonna check to see how many verts we have there. Okay, we have three, which is uh, what we should have. So we'll do the same thing over here in the center. Let's see, let's weld this lower one to this one, and this one maybe back to this guy. Okay, and same thing over here. This one up to this one. And for this guy here, let's maybe weld this one back to this point.
Okay, the exact same thing on the outside here. Let's grab that edge, we'll loop it. And that should go all the way around to the other side. So we'll just do another chamfer. And we'll just do that same amount, 0.5 or so, and just clean it up quick. All right, so this one to this one, and this one to this one. Same thing over on this side. Okay, I'm just gonna check here to make sure we only have four verts, which we do. And same thing over here, and we have four selected there, which is good. Okay, so let's do the same thing on the center section. Let's loop this edge and chamfer it down, and we'll roll this over a little bit more. Let's do maybe about one. And we could probably even do maybe a double on this one, so let's hit apply and bring it down a little bit more. Maybe about 0.4 or so, and we'll also chamfer, uh, do a chamfer on this bottom edge. So loop that one and chamfer it down, and we'll take that up just a little bit more. Something like that should be good. Okay, and it doesn't really matter if we have any end guns here. Um, we're not going to be turbo smoothing the, the uh, tread, so it's fine. Okay, so I think that's our completed section of tread here. Now the next thing we'll do is go back to the top view. Let's also maybe delete our blueprint. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so now that we have one piece completed here, um, we need to check and make sure that it's actually tileable uh, top to bottom. Okay, so the easiest way to do that is just to shift drag a copy of this up on the Y. Okay, and line up the top edge of the first piece with the bottom edge of the second piece. Okay, and we'll also uh, choose instance here rather than copy. Okay, so any changes we make on the uh, first piece will be reflected on the second piece. And you can see right here, um, these let edges don't line up with the ones on the first piece, and they need to so we can weld them together once we uh, have all the copies of the tread. Okay, so we're going to need to do a little bit of work on this. Let's grab the first piece. Uh, we'll go into vertex here. And we'll put our edge constraint back on. And we're just going to start down at the bottom here, grab these two verts right here, which will be these two right here. And we're just going to slightly move this over until we see it line up there at the top. Okay, just like that. So the, the edge is lining up right there. We'll do the same thing with the next set, grab these two. And slightly move them over until we see them line up. And we'll just keep doing this for each section here so that we have uh, matching edges. Okay, so just move that over. Try to get it as close as you can. Same thing here, just like that. And finally with this one here, we'll just move that back a bit. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in here and just see how close these are. Okay, so those look uh, pretty much like they're all matching up. And we just wanna check here and make sure that uh, all of our edges match up with another edge. Okay, so you can see these all line up correctly and everything else looks pretty good there. Okay, so we'll go back into the top view here. And now we know that the piece is uh, tileable, we'll delete this top copy, go back down to the original. Uh, let's go back into the hierarchy tab and we'll hit effect pivot only. And I'm just gonna move the pivot pin point over to the uh, right edge here. Okay, so we'll zoom in and we'll just line this up right on the right edge, like that. Let's turn that off and let's go back into the uh, modify panel here and we'll just maybe drop on a symmetry modifier. Okay, so go down and find symmetry. Okay, and we'll flip that. Okay, and that should give us a full tread strip here. Okay, and if they're not touching up in the middle, just uh, select the mirror and just move that around until they touch up. Okay. All right, and you can also check it out in perspective here and make sure it's touching up. All right, so now that we have that on, uh, we'll convert it back to edible poly to make it one piece. And now we can start making our copies here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is zoom in a bit here. And we'll hold down shift one more time and drag up on the Y. Okay, and what we wanna do here is line the bottom edge of this piece up with the original, okay? Right on top of each other if we can. Okay, just like that. All right, and we'll choose copy this time and we're gonna need probably quite a few of these. Let's do maybe like uh, 28 copies and okay. And right, that's gonna copy that tread all the way to the other end. Okay, so we'll just zoom in here and check to see if the spacing is correct here. Okay, and you can see those are right on top of each other, which is what we want. Okay, so back in perspective view. And now that we have that uh, done, we can actually attach these into one piece. Okay, so we'll go over, open up the attach box, uh, select all the planes, and attach. And then we'll go into vertex here, 
do control A, whoops, control A to select all the verts. All right, and we'll zoom in really close uh, in one of these sections here and see if we can see any gaps. Okay, you can see a little bit of one here. All right, so what we're gonna do is do a weld on all these verts at the same time. And uh, we'll take it up a little bit more than 0.1 just to make sure that we don't have any openings. Let's maybe do about 0.3 or so. We don't want to go too high so that we have edges start snapping together uh, on the chamfers, but we'll take it up a bit just to avoid any uh, holes. Okay, we'll just see if that uh, looks okay. Okay, everything still looks correct. All right, so now that's one welded piece. And next thing we'll do is center the pivot point. Okay, and let's go maybe into the left view here. And let's put a bend modifier on this. Okay, so we'll drop on a bend modifier. All right, we'll take up the angle here a bit. Let's also take up the direction maybe to 90. And we'll just pick the uh, Y axis here. All right, I actually wanna do negative 90. Okay, so it's bending the right way. And we'll take up the angle here until it closes up into a circle. Okay, it should be around 360, it might not be exact. Okay, so you can see this is still spaced apart, so we'll just slightly go up on this until they get closer together. Okay. And we want to get them as close as we can, so we'll just play with this number here. I'm just going to type this in. Let's do maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Okay, and it looked like... Uh, 364.3 uh, lines mine up correctly. All right, so just keep going up on that until it closes up. You can also check this out in perspective view. Okay, I just wanna make sure I didn't go too high on that. All right, that looks good. All right, so now that we have that bent into a circle and it's all matching up, we'll just convert it back to edible poly. And now we just need to weld up that uh, seam there. Okay, so let's go back to Vertex. We'll do Control A one more time. And we'll just do another weld on this. And we'll take that up a little bit. Okay, just to make sure. Go 0.3 again, and we'll just go to border here and drag through the edges. Okay, and if it didn't weld, you'll see the border select between the two pieces. Okay, and it looks like we don't have any missed welds. Okay, so that'll be the completed tread. Uh, now we need to extrude down the sides uh, to kind of close it up a bit more. All right, so let's go to border. We grab that front border as well as the border on the other side. And we'll go back into the left view here. Okay, and we're just gonna go to scale and hold down shift and just scale the sides in a little bit here. Okay, I want these to be still pretty low profile tires, so I'm not gonna bring it in too much. We'll do maybe something like that. Okay, and I think that should be fine. Um, you could give the sides a little bit of a bulge if you want, but uh, I don't really think it's necessary in this case. All right, so that's pretty much the completed tread. Let's center the pivot point one more time now that we have it bent. Okay, and let's right click and unhide all. All right, and we'll just uh, find our rim here. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's go zoom in and hold down control and we'll just select the pieces of the rim again. Okay, we can get rid of that and that and then we'll hide unselect it. Okay, and now we'll grab the rim. Let's make sure the pivot point is centered. So we'll center it to object again. We just center the pivot point on the tire. So now we'll just align the two. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this over a bit. And don't worry about the size being too big, we can fix that in a minute. We'll just go to a line and click on the rim. Choose XYZ and pivot and pivot and OK. And now we can just actually scale it down. All right, so I'm just going to scale it down on the, on the uh, triangle here and bring it down until it tucks into the rim. OK, and we'll bring in a little bit more than we need. Maybe like that so we don't see any holes in there. OK, and it's going to be a little bit too narrow, so we're going to have to scale it out a little bit more which we'll do in the front view. Okay, so now that we have that on, we'll just uh, scale it on the X here until it matches up. 
with each side of the uh, rim. Okay, just like that. Okay, and just check it out here and make sure that it's actually fitting correctly. Okay, we can bring it up maybe just a tiny bit more here. Okay, and that'll be our complete tire.